Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. My name is Michael. This is our Maya 2016 addendum video to the Polygonal Booleans video that we've already made. Feel free to check out this link here to look at the original video. So the way Polygonal Booleans work still works the same way. Uh, there's just been some additions to the Maya 2016 version that we're going to go over in this video. So to find the Polygonal Boolean options, if you go into the modeling menu under Mesh, Booleans, and I'll break this little window off, we have our three Boolean operations, Union, Difference, and Intersection. If I go into the Union options here, you'll see right away if you're familiar with the previous options that there's been some additions. I even have little pictures here to show you the new thing in the options for these Boolean operations. Specifically, the open surface settings. These are new between when I showed you Booleans before to now. The algorithm settings up here have the option to use legacy Boolean algorithm, which means to use the previous Boolean algorithm, which I've gone over in that previous video. So if these settings up here are essentially the same settings as I talked about in the original Polygon Boolean video I've already done. But now the open surface settings are new to Booleans that we'll go over in this video. If I go into the difference option, you'll see it's the same thing, open surface settings. And in intersection options, again, open surface settings. So the open surface settings are the only thing different between all three Booleans, and they essentially all work the same way. So I'll, I'll show them all, but just know that each time I show them for each Boolean operation, it's essentially the same thing happening. We're just choosing between the intersection classification option between in all the open surface settings between edge and normal. So let's go back to the union options, the first one. And this is the open surface setting. So you look at the picture here, it shows you an example using a sphere and a plane. So we're going to kind of mimic the example that they give us. So I'm going to minimize this, create a polygon plane like so, and I'll hide the grid, and I'll create a sphere like so. So pretty much mimicking the picture in the uh, option box that we, they gave us. So the way unions work, if you look at the original video, you simply just select two objects. Oh, go into your boolean settings and you union them together and what union will do is it will merge the two objects together into one object and anywhere that they intersect for example the center of the plane that's inside the sphere should be eaten away or cut away leaving a hole but in the middle of the sphere so that the plane and the sphere are merged together in that way now as you see here there's because we're dealing with open surfaces, which is what the plane is, it's an open surface, we have a couple options here. Intersection, classification, edge, or normal. If I go to edit, reset settings, you'll see normal is the default value. So with the two objects selected, I'll just hit apply with the normal setting. So now you'll see that the two objects are one. If I select a face on the plane, you'll see that, and press four for wireframe, that face has this big hole cut into it. The face selection is not cutting across the entire plane in the center of the sphere. Just these two faces make up the shape of that plane and now there's a big hole cut in the middle while the sphere has been merged into the plane object. Hopefully that makes some sense as you're looking at it here. So I'm going to undo that. And the reason why this is important, originally Back in the old days, when you wanted to get this kind of shape, what you would have to do is, instead of a plane, you'd have to make like a, sh a very thin cube. And then after you've done the union, then you'd kind of delete the surfaces you don't want and merge the vertices together and so on. And it's kind of clunky. And now they've added this uh, operation, op open surface settings to the operation to improve this effect. So that was with the normal intersection classification. Let's turn on edge. And then with both objects selected, hit apply. And see what happens here is it actually cuts off the bottom of the sphere and then merges the two objects together like this. So it kind of just depends on what uh, effect you're looking for. And the way it knows which half of the sphere to cut off is just based on the plane's normal direction. And this plane's normal direction was facing up, so everything above the plane was preserved and everything below the plane was deleted. 
if the plane's uh, normal direction was reversed, it would be the opposite. And you see here as I uh, scroll around, they give us this little window after you've applied the union operation. And you can actually click here and change it, not only the operation type, but also the edge classification type from edge to normal or from union to difference to intersection. So what we could do is just simply change it here and see what happens between the three operations that are available in the polygonal boolean menu. So let's ch go ahead and change it from edge back to normal. You see the bottom half of my sphere comes back. And instead of a union, let's try a difference. And with difference, and if you look at a little picture here, it shows you the two circles with the one circle eating away the other circle. So with difference is you're, you're selecting things in order where the first object you select is preserved and hold down shift and select a second object which then eats away the first. So we hit with, with the plane selected first, shift select the sphere and click difference. You see the plane gets a big hole cut into it. And this is with a difference operation and a normal uh, classification. If you change normal to edge, you see then this bottom half of the sphere is preserved and we get this effect. And again, this is based on the plane's normal direction. If the normal of the planes was reversed, we'd have the top half of the sphere preserved instead of the lower half using the edge classification. Let's change this to intersection, see how that looks. And back to normal. So with intersection, what we're seeing here is the intersection between the plane and the sphere. So with an intersection, when you have two objects that are intersecting, and use the intersection boolean, everything is cut away except for where they intersect, which in this case is this circle that intersected the, the sphere. I change the operation classification from normal to edge, then we get this result. Again, everything that was below the plane is preserved among the, for the sphere to get this shape. And again, that's based on the plane's normal direction. If the normals of the plane were facing the other way, we need to get the top half of the sphere. So that's essentially what's different with the polygonal boolean operations. We have union, difference, and intersection. And they all have these open surface settings for, for intersection classification, edge, and normal for all three. Whenever you're doing these booleans, just play with these settings to get the result you're looking for. You have a lot more flexibility now in how booleans work in Maya 2016. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, if I missed something, I'm pretty sure I covered uh, what's new from the previous video. And again, to see the previous video and look at the uh, legacy Boolean algorithm settings, feel free to click that link. Uh, again, they haven't changed. Um, but yeah, if I miss anything, let me know. And again, thanks for watching.